Hey everybody, it's John, and uh, I think I've been away for a while. I, I've been shooting some video, but I just haven't put anything together recently. But I'm back here this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I'm here in the Midlands of South Carolina. It's hot, it's humid, the gnats are out. It's going to be one hell of a summer, I can tell. Um, this is a bald cypress tree that uh, a friend of mine and I collected. It's a little different. It doesn't have the huge flare some of the other trees have. Um, uh, but it's interesting. It's got some interesting places on the trunk. Um, the, uh, uh, it's starting to, to put some muscle on the trunk. It's a, obviously a very tall tree. I've never done anything to the top of it. All I've done is just pruned branches um, and kind of created uh, some ramification there to give me something to work with this first time that I I work with this tree. So over the course of the next few days, um, this tree is going to get a total workover. Uh, I'm going to um, strip all of the foliage off. Uh, I'm going to wire the entire tree. I'm going to carve the top, uh, and I'm going to repot it. Um, I think the tree, you know, these trees, we, we collect these trees in June and July, and this is right the first of June. It's been kind of an odd spring. Um, I think we're, we're ready to do this. Okay, in order to um, wire this tree and in order to, to really get a look at the ramification, um, one of the first things you have to do is take all the foliage off. Um, it's a leaf printing and, and yeah, could you sit down and do it with scissors? You could, but there's a better way to do it uh, and I'm going to show you that today. But uh, most of the time when I go to leaf prune, uh, on bald cypress, I find the inside of the branch, and then I just pull my fingers out that branch, and you can see that quickly it it takes all the foliage off. So you can do this pretty quickly. <coughs> I'm going to take the tree outside to do the rest of this, but uh, you can see that fast. Now it's going to be an easy thing to see what needs to be pruned, what needs to be wired, shaped, how this branch can be given some some shape and actually we'll decide whether we're going to keep it or not. So, but uh, all right, I'm going to defoliate the rest of the tree and I'll be back. All right, uh, stage one's finished. I've pulled all the foliage off. Um, now I can get in here and look at some of these branches uh, <clears throat> in this top. And so my next object objective is going to be to carve this top and decide which of these branches are going to stay, which of them are going to go. I'm probably going to end up doing some uh, uh, carving down, cutting out some deep V's here, um, and then trying to figure out where to where I'll go. So what I'll probably do next is, is just mark this uh, with a sharpie so I can see where I want to carve and what I want to take out. Uh, I'll mark it first and take a look at it again and then decide if that's what I really, if I'm going to go, go, you know, what I'm going to do. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to cut this tree down here and make a V cut. 
and remove everything that's in the middle here and then continue okay guys uh, I've used um, <clears throat> my carving tools to put a V in here eliminating the flat top to uh, help um, create a believable taper on here um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll come back in here with a really sharp knife and I will clean up these edges here so um, and then I'll apply uh, some cut paste to them so um, myself a nice smooth finish there Alright, the next thing I want to do is I want to clean up the trunk and I'm just going to use a brass bristle brush uh, to clean the some of the lichens and moss and stuff that's growing on the trunk and also to flake off some of the old flaky bark. Um, so I'll take care of that next. Okay, the bark's cleaned up. The leaves have all been removed. Um, I have carved the top to create a more um, believable taper. Um, I am going to style this tree in kind of a flat top, but I'm going to keep a few lower branches. Uh, now I think it's time to go ahead and start pruning branches. So I'm going to cut off all of the branches that um, are too long. Uh, for example, these are they're nice branches, but uh, they need to start branching, so they need to to continue to ramify. So I'm going to just take them all back uh, before I wire it. That'll save me some time wiring. I'm also going to take off all the little branches uh, that I don't need. I'm not going to use. Um, all right. I may work this out on later. There's a large branch here I need to decide what to do with. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be the front of the tree, so the large branch is here, so I could just wire some foliage down and kind of hide that branch, which is probably what I'll do. I've also considered uh, cutting it here and bringing it down a little bit, um, but you know, I'm not sure. Um, it's pretty high up in the tree. It's too heavy for the top of this tree. Um, it may end up coming off. We'll see. All right. I'm going to keep working here. For cypress trees, uh, you'll find they have a lot of flex in their branches. So um, I, I typically will wire with uh, aluminum as opposed to copper just because it's a, it's a little easier. Um, uh, I'm not going to leave the wire on for a super long time. So if I was going to use copper, I might, you know, I would use copper in a situation where I might leave it on for a long time. but. Uh, this will probably come off in a couple of months, uh, by fall, at the, at anyhow, and uh, so I'm going to use uh, aluminum wire and wire out some of these branches. Okay, all wired. We have stripped the foliage, we have carved the top, we've cleaned the bark, we've uh, pruned, we've wired. Uh, so now it's time to... <coughs> figure out a better container for this tree. So. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to take it out uh, and I'm going to use the water hose and I'm going to blast all the soil off of it. I've taken all the foliage off, that shouldn't really be any big concern. So, Alright, um, I'll be back and I'll figure out a container for it. 
All right, after 30 minutes of using a water hose, there are the exposed roots. Going to take some cleaning up to make that interesting, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Once I get the roots uh, uh, where they're interesting, then I'll find the, the right pot for it. I was thinking I might be able to, well, I might put this in a, uh, probably going to put it in a mica pot. Um, I have a big rectangle, but it'd be better in a in a round pot, so maybe I'll see if I can find a drum for it. All right, took a little finagling, but it's in a pot now. I'm not terribly worried about the front of the tree at this point. Um, this tree's still early in its development, so um, I will try to make I will try to adjust the the height to the trunk angle so that it's uh, somewhere somewhat close, but uh, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put soil in it now.